So, um, I'm Flavio Canistra, I'm uh, really happy to be here. Uh, this is my very first uh, ABTP conference. I love that. It's, it's fantastic. I really love all of this. There's just one problem. Please don't do ever, ever again that, you know, the day before my intervention with that wine. You know, you know? Because I can I can see your face. You are like, oh, you know, the walking that gray and stuff like that. And instead of me, I am like, oh, my God, I want to sleep. Okay. So, um, crystal session therapy is a problem because, you know, uh, I used to do a workshop, two days workshop in a single session therapy, and probably I don't have to say that because I can't say that I need two days for talk about single session therapy. But never no, mind, I, I saw this um, to, to build this, this workshop thinking, okay, think that you have an athlete, you have just one single session, one single day, 50 minutes to talk about single session therapy. What you need to do, what it's very important to do here today to transmit something useful to you about single session therapy. You will tell me if I uh, suggest all this. So, if I'm in English, I mean Italian, we don't have any more words coming back, we still have that English. So, um, I hope you can read this. Imagine this guy, this man, coming in my office and say, I have obsessive compulsive uh, toes. I say, what do you mean? And he say, um, 10 years ago I started having uh, this sex concert, uh, concert with toes. I uh, imagine me with a knife uh, stabbing my wife and stabbing my kids and it's awful. And, uh, and today I have also a lot of worry, you know, about the future, about the job, my home, my wife, my kids, and so on. I say, okay, 10 years ago, um, how do you manage? that for 10 years. And he say, actually, 10 years ago, I took pills for six months and they vanished for eight years. And I say, okay, take pills. I say, no, okay, no, I don't want to take pills anymore. Um, and I ask, what happened after eight years? After eight years, obsessive compulsive toe come back and I, and I read a book, a book about paradoxical intervention. And I say, why? I say, oh yeah, I like psychology, you know. And uh, I have played a technique, a paradoxical intervention technique. And it works for two years. And now I have again this problem. And I say, okay, you are telling me that you had a single session, uh, you know, uh, session you had a single session very probably, uh, that you have obsessive compulsive toes, and you just, um, Use a paradoxical intervention with the one pills anymore. You just use a paradoxical intervention and uh, it works. Yeah. So, can you use paradoxical intervention again? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I teach you a way to do it in a more systematic way, but it sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, to me too. Okay. And what about the worries? So, what are you worried about? If you do it now, what do you do? And, uh, Say, oh, what do you do that works? He say, oh, sometimes I just say, bullshit, I don't care about it. Okay, and it works, yeah. So I invented this uh, very important thing, these uh, sentences. And the sentence is, uh, I invented that if something works, do it again. It's mine, this is a copyright, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I say so. You can say bullshit when your dogs uh, you're worrying. Uh, can again? I say yes, I can. I say okay. Uh, let's see. Do you think that you need another session? I propose this to you. We can uh, have a phone call in two weeks, and you will tell me, Fabio, uh, I don't need another session. Uh, I can talk to you again in one month and we see or you can tell me Fabio, I want to talk to you about something uh, we can make a second appointment. Okay. A few weeks ago I had a phone call with him. Well, we are at the third 
performance here full up. It's okay. So we actually have a single session therapy. And it is this So but but what is it? Uh, it doesn't work. What is it? Uh, single session therapy. And you have to run all the time. Uh, what is a single session therapy? Uh, there are many, um, yeah, it, it is a work. Um, or maybe I can't work it. Um, a single session therapy, there are many descriptions. I want to just tell you that um, it's not an approach, it's a method. Okay? That means that you can integrate it with your approach. So you can have a solution for this single session therapy, probably you have a lot of solutions. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, uh, CBT, single session therapy, CBT, single session therapy, psychodynamic, single session therapy, strategic system, and so on. Actually, in all world of way, many uh, therapies uh, from different approaches. But I like this definition by Jeff Young. I know what you're thinking about, and no, this is not the Jeff Young. Guitarists of Megadeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a service delivery system, you know. Just young, uh, I did an interview with him. Uh, we will have uh, on YouTube in the next weeks so or months because I'm subtitling it in Italian. Just young say it's very important to act as if you can have a single session term. Uh, because if you can, maybe you can't, you will not, you and the client will, will know uh, that only at the end of the session. But this is very common cool for me because it's, yeah, um, you can do that. It's, it's, it's a way to see how you can do therapy. And actually, in this room, everybody to see the session. This is a fact. One is the most frequent number of sessions in sector all over the world. All the research tells us the same data. Um, this is particular. Now I'll tell you why. Um, one is the most frequent number of sessions in sector means that people that just come for one session and then they say, I don't want to have any more, are more than people that come for two sessions or than people that come for two sessions. This is very particular because in this research, uh, 2008, in Australia, on uh, 150,000 clients in three years, 42% choose to just have one session. Why? Um, we can see it's a dropout, it's a fast mechanism, it's a a personality disorder, a solution always we don't think that, but many therapists think that. But if you ask clients why just went for one session, a large, a huge number of them to say, because it was helpful. I, I don't need any session, any other session. That one session is good for me. Um, everything starts from here. Most tell them, Notice that. I don't tell you the story because I don't want to go too long. And with my colleague Robert Rosman, they start with a uh, uh, first systematic uh, um, research on clients about single session therapy. And it's a very interesting results. And they start um, a, a movement, then, not to say that they start all the thing about single session therapy. Even if the very first single session therapy was always seen, not seen. The other, Sigmund Freud. We have to <coughs> treat the commented case of Sigmund Freud uh, doing a single session therapy, therapy, just one session. And why is very funny because he is um, described by a client still alive three years ago now, I don't know. You can find it on um, the internet, she had a lot. And he obviously he didn't do did, um, psychoanalysis, okay, just talk about resources, about, you know. 
Yeah, so those guys have everything. What do we know today in the hear of the dog? That when you propose, you do this position I mean, you, have, you probably have clients that do just one session and go away. How many of you have this kind of clients? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Cool. Um, but if you propose to do a single session therapy, following a method, uh, this number increase and you can have around 40, 60 percent that say to you, yes, one session, this session, and this is me. That doesn't mean that you are the client to solve the problem, probably, but probably you help him to see things in a new way, or to find strategies, or to have a space for him, I don't know. But the client recognizes that that session is enough, it's okay. You do your job very well. Thank you, Thomas. Such as if you call the client at the follow up, uh, around 60-80% depends on the research. In Italy, we are doing a systematic review of all our researches. It's a very good job. Yesterday, you saw Jada in this very room and he's doing this research, a uh, systematic review with 70 researchers at the moment. Uh, you, can, you can see that around 60-80% of clients at the follow up say, I don't need another session, thank you. That session is enough for me, thank you. You probably think, I need to ask more money to my clients. Okay, yeah. Now it's funny because people in Italy are starting to know a uh, single session therapy, but they are calling us and say, Hello, I want a single session therapy, or Hello, I want to give my single session therapy to my husband. <laughs> oh, what do you think? <laughs> Is it okay for you? Yeah, okay. Just say me. No, I'm joking. Okay, okay. And it, it's transdiagnostical. You can use, uh, you can find such a sort of succession therapy for everything. Um, you know, there is this beautiful book, um, Bohar to Taman, uh, how clients make therapy works. Clients make therapy works, you know. Uh, so it, it's not important the problem, it's not important the diagnosis, it's important just probably the resources there. Yeah. Someone has the resources to um, do a situation therapy, yes. Someone else needs more therapy, it's okay. Just act as if a single session therapy is enough. If you want, you leave me your email sends in the slides. So, how can you get the most out of every single and, as you saw, often unique session for you? I just want to check my time off. Um, it's an open source model. A thing that I love about singles, about solution, obviously, is that it's open source. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. And single solution therapy is the same. Uh, Moshi Tanaman, uh, I haven't put a trademark on single solution therapy, do whatever you want. And it's funny because it works in. Single session therapy born around 20 years ago, as I say, but just in the last five years we have an um, explosion of document books around single session therapy. Next year, uh, October the 20th, around, around October the 20th in Melbourne, Australia, we will have the third international conference on single session therapy. If you want to say uh, something more about that, uh, please ask me, send me an email. So, uh, two things. Um, of course, I have to our citizens, okay? But in Italy, we are doing singlesession.com. It doesn't work right now, but we are doing singlesession.com. We have a blog, we have free stuff, and I hope that in the next month, 30 days, you will see it online. Uh, so, that's telling you about something uh, important. First of all, the thing is mindset. You know, because if you believe that in one session uh, you can 
This is nothing. The client can do nothing. You can help the client because this is a borderline client. Put a little bit does it mean? Um, you will write. And you will never have such a single session. You have to act as if a single session could be possible. Okay. So the mindset is the most important thing. What does it mean? It means a lot of things. You can read a book, capturing the moment, very interesting book by Michael Levy Mushkan. And you can find a lot of things about guidelines, and mindset, and stuff like this. But, but uh, one thing is to view each session as a rule. Okay? It's a reading book. Yeah, book of translate words. Um, what does it mean? Um, of course, you have a uh, Probably you have a goal for the therapy, but what is the goal for the session? I, I'm sure that many of you uh, do this thing, asking to the client, okay, what if this session will be the last one? What if we don't have any other session? What is the most important thing that we have to do here today? This is very important. It's fine because you can integrate this with your techniques, with your way to do I hope that in this very moment you are walking around thinking about uh, the situation therapy in your own way. I think that's all you have. <laughs> oh, this is a funny fact. There is a book, uh, Monty Bobbio and Adam's Life, where all you have is an hour. Where all you have is an hour. And um, a trainee during a workshop saying, yes, but the best title for that book probably was When You Have a World Hour. When You Have a World Hour. No. Well, all you have is a shift of mindset. And they say, yes, fuck, the book is already published. Okay. <laughs> B, I know that you, I know that you know what I'm talking about. Find and emphasize abilities, strengths, coping strategies, and help clients to help themselves. With the client of my example, I start thinking about, uh, okay, what can we do in this hour? And he said to me, um, maybe find a strategy, find, find a strategy to solve this problem, to uh, front this problem. And at the end of the session, he said, yeah, it's very effective, this strategy. I, I probably don't need any other session, probably. We will see. It helps. And I asked him about his um, strengths and coping strategies. What worked? What, what did he do? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, you know? Um, so, do it more. Or do it in a Different way, for example, use paradoxical intervention. Uh, if things that um, it's okay, but he uh, also think that he needs something more structured. So I propose him to do the paradoxical intervention this way. Every day, every hour, for five minutes, think about your stopping toes, you know. Go to search the stopping toes. I tell that to him because he tells me that it works, that it worked in the past. Okay? So do it again, just a more structured way for two weeks. What do you think? It's okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. And it was okay. Three months call out. It's working. Okay? It's, it's not very solution focused, but it's really good for him. I think this is the best thing we can, we can do with the client. Doing something that is good for him, not for us or for our mother. And uh, I know that you know also this thing that is big problems often mean just small changes. You know, it's like a domino. I have just to do that to the first, um, I don't know the English word for the, the domino thing, you know, the thing. Yes, okay. And um, 
um, maybe it will be enough for that session. Maybe not. Okay, so we have a single, uh, single session. And uh, more money for me. Okay. No, it is not about money. Just a few, sorry. Um, and it's okay. What is the very first thing you can do? I love the Duncan and Miller article, but the client theory of change. You know that? It's a very interesting article. It's uh, online, you can find it. And it starts asking, um, basically, it asks the client what is the first sign for you that tell you that um, you're going the right way or that, what do you think you can start to do to solve your problem. And often it's, it's enough. It's all what you need. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it. We have many things about mindset. Because during our workshops, we spend many, many time uh, working on the mindset, to change the therapist's mindset. About techniques, yeah, actually, you use your techniques. There are, there are I think, there aren't uh, single session techniques, okay? Um, but mindset is the most important thing. Acting as the single session is possible. I will do an exercise uh, in a few, a few minutes to show that. So, and the second important thing, the first one is yes, mindset, the second one is do it. Do it, 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 single session therapy, do it. As if a single session is enough. Do it, do it, do it, do it. So, we in our group, I'm sorry, it's only in Italian. Uh, how many of you speak Italian? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, it's okay. Uh, I just have one copy. So, yeah, so we identify some basic intervention. We're very lucky in Italy because we arrived at single session therapy just two years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago, something just where I did two years ago, we arrived. So we can read uh, all the researches of the books and say, wow, I can do that, and that, and that, and this is mine. Okay. And we identify some basic intervention. I, I go very, very fast. The first one to do a single session therapy is to find a problem in rational terms. Be very concrete. What is the problem? Obsessive toes. What do you mean? Obsessive toes. Depression. What is the pressure? What do you mean the pressure? What do you do? You know what I'm talking about. And then clarify the goal and set the priorities. Why? Because uh, what is your goal for the Italian for the, this session? Uh, this, 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 this. Okay, what is the priority? Choose one goal and then we can uh, from the other goals or not because there no effort. Maybe we uh, reach the first goal and the other goals you will find how long, you know, I mean, will tell my help because you have the resources. Ask for constant feedback, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, ask for constant feedback. Uh, so you did that, um, it works, so you're telling me that, you know. Um, there is in the world of feedback informated treatments. This is very tough, I don't know if. Is it the right uh, English? Sorry. Um, it's very important to ask feedback to the client for many reasons. One is about the relationship. If you ask to the client, uh, did I understand? You're telling me that and this. The client felt um, listened, you know? Uh, um, yeah. You are basically you're constructing um, empathy, you know? But also, you are telling to him um, that he has the resources. So you did that? It did work? Yeah, it did that, it works. Okay, it works. I know that you know what I'm talking about. And investigate the resources and exception to the problem and identify a tangible dysfunctional solution. The first one, you know what I mean, is about uh, identify what works or what um, you can use, the client can use to solve this problem internal resources and external resources. And a template dysfunctional solution, probably you know that, is an uh, MRI construct. Uh, identify what does work 
and to see if you can stop that C if the client can stop that. Um, my, my client here, yeah, so what you're doing, I, uh, do you talk about your problem? Yes, a lot of talk, 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 my wife, talk, talk. And it helps. No, because last time I talk about my problems, I, I feel, I feel uh, awful, I feel uh, that the problem is bigger, so you can't stop talking about your problem. I can do that. Okay, that is a term, a term a solution that doesn't work. Give compliments, feedback, and suggestions. Uh, Jeff Young, my God, um, Jeff Young is uh, sorry, I didn't say he's the director of the um, Uber Center in Australia. Okay, uh, I went in Austin, Australia, uh, to train this potential therapy team. He invented a beautiful therapy called No Bullshit Therapy. It's fantastic, it's fantastic. Very straight and direct. Uh, you can find something online, it's very interesting. And it's simple. And yesterday I saw something about simple therapy. I love simple therapy. Why? Because you, you have so much time to do complex therapy. You know? You have so much time, but sometimes. Uh, you can give a suggestion, you can give a feedback, uh, nothing bad. You can just talk um, at a uh, loud voice, you know, like I'm doing, okay? Yeah, I think that, I think this, uh, what do you think? Yeah, it works for me, okay. Maybe you can try this, yes. You need another session? No, okay. So, be simple. Probably the point six is be simple. And then, uh, seven, explain the open door. Be sure that your client knows that can can come in the future after one day, one week, one more, one year, ten years for the same problem or for other problems. I'm not abandoning you. If you need, you can call me and we have another session if you need. Okay? Don't force in a single session. The client decide. Do you need another session? Um, yes. I don't think so, but okay, make an appointment. So, those are the seven basic interventions. Very simple. And uh, yes. So, we will have a QA uh, session, single session. Uh, but first, I want to ask you to experiment a single session mindset uh, with um, an exercise, a recent exercise that I learned in Australia from. Just yeah, the over center. Just check the time because yeah, okay, we have plenty of time. So relax, put your stuff down. Okay, you're so relaxed. Yes. Very well. Now you can choose you can close your eyes. Fix uh, something, you can uh, sorry, sorry, something in front of you, not me. I'm beautiful, I'm not <laughs> I feel embarrassed. Oh, yeah. okay. And take three deep breaths. Imagine 
起。那今天过。
that client the day before the first session. So you haven't did the first session. Because the day before the first session, he called you and he said that you have to go for a long trip without using the night. And you can attend just for one session. But you really want to do that session with you. And you must know that you have just one session. <coughs> and the day comes. And you have that single session. And so start to imagine what you do. Is your call? What do you do in that session, knowing that it will be the first and last session with that client? That first, you are just. Smartphone, the pen, you can put down a few observations about that. What difference do you notice about the two sessions? What are the difference in this single session? What do you do differently?
say, so, I should check this. Um, what else? Research, 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 we have need the research, we have product definition, so I don't want to bore you with, uh, with that, it's working, it's in Italy. Um, Q&A. Oh. Q&A. So, if you have any questions, please, but you have to... <laughs> okay. This is your <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, that's sorry. <laughs> <It's not strange. laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, if you have any question, be Italian, please. <laughs> yeah, um, you have a microphone for the lady? I can give you my microphone. Um, having not done single session therapy, it was hard for me to imagine how to complete a session. Is it possible you can give an example of? Because I've never done a single session. How to end a session? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, at the end of the session, um, basically, when we we feel that we are. Uh, say anything about the topic the client uh, bring for that session. I simply ask, okay, uh, is, do you think it's enough? Do you want to talk about something else or do you think it's enough? And if the client say, yeah, I think it's enough for this session, I say, okay, listen, uh, here's a, no, sorry, it's a simple question. They can only come for one session and through how can we help you and if you could the miracle question how can you see things different in three months? Mm -hmm. But it's how to actually so you go, oh yeah I can see that I would be nervous I would be anxious. But is there a way to kind of round it round a session <coughs> without saying okay come back in three months and okay well he decides he he decides uh, you, you like the, I don't even understand the question. You asked me how I can set the ground for the end of the session. So will the session follow the same format as normal? So you just ask me oh, okay. what you want to deal with, or is there a different format? No, it's, it's, it's not very different. You can do a, a normal session, but at the end, following the basic intervention, but at the end, you ask the client if even if you give the homeworks, you ask the client, even if you, uh, you do a medical question, you ask the client, listen, do you think you need another session? Do you want to uh, make an appointment? Or, um, you know, you can just see... You do a medical question and then give them homework and say, notice some scale difference. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you leave the door open, and uh, so if he wants, he can call you in three months and say, I want another session, or maybe not. Okay. Did that answer? Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. How do you send the people, the therapists, when we are not interested in doing single session therapy because they make money from therapy? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big issue about single session therapy. So who is interested in Action. So it's here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the problem is that it works. So um, you, you see that in your. Those are your clients. Here is when you start to do single session therapy. Without a fee, now I tell you what. Your clients have to do that. Your session, not your clients, your sessions start to do that. And then, if you do that thing, they will tell you what thing start to do that. Basically, it can start to do that here and here. The thing is communication. 
single session typing works because client wants single session typing. If you communicate to your clients that you do single session typing, there is an interesting research all over the world. Um, around 60 or 90 percent of people researched all over the world, people that um, need a uh, therapy, that can find a uh, helpful therapy, never ever call a therapist. Never ever. Around 60, 90 percent. Okay. Basically, all the people in the world. Um, why? For many reasons. One of the reasons is oh my god, I feel that therapy is a long process. Maybe I have a problem, but I think it's a simple problem. I don't want to do many sessions. Another one is connected to that to is that uh, I don't have money for many sessions. So if you start to communicate, maybe one session is enough. You can take, take people to the back world, if you know what I mean, from that 60 years. So we, in all our work, we, we say, communicate that you say that you do a single session therapy. One term is enough. Say it because otherwise this is a problem. Because we are therapists, we love people, but we love food and we need to eat. We need people's money, you know. So, um, I have no problem with I, I do single session therapy every day, every day uh, my, mm, with my clients. I, uh, I don't have any problem with clients, and I saw this. Since I start to do single session therapy, I start to have a waiting list, paradoxically. Suppose you, suppose you teach single session, which is the best attitude you have to develop to be effective? Therapist in single position. The second one is do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. When I went to Greece uh, in London, I, I learned uh, social focus, and at the end they say do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, because if you wait too much, you will forget it. Okay. The first one, um, we spend Basically, almost the world's first day, uh, working in the mind, shopping the therapy, the therapist's mind. How? We did an exercise, and uh, there is another exercise in which we ask um, to be focused only on the resources of the client, and uh, another exercise in we, for 15 minutes, and another exercise in which we, after we teach just the first three interventions, and then we say, do a, a session, a 15 minute session, just doing that. And it's funny because at the end of that exercise, 15 minutes exercise, Many people uh, always say, bring your uh, a real problem. Not an orthodoxy at least, but bring a, a real problem, a problem that you have. And many therapists say, it's not a problem. In 15 minutes, it's not a problem. And I didn't pay a therapy for that. Yeah, I paid the watch, you know. Yeah. Something different. This yeah. is the schema, this is the technique. I asked something that is a bit hard. Which is the internal attitude to do if you teach yeah. which attitude to try to develop before to know the technique, to help to use the technique in a very high quality level. To I think as a to develop a service, for example, in management, yeah. they can use social powers because they read the book and yeah. they do, but they don't do it. They think they do it because they say only in the suffice. Yeah. But there's something else more, more deep and calm. Yeah. So it's a work about that and that and that and other things. Uh, you can uh, find that in, in books uh, like Tapcatch in the Moment, a very beautiful book. Um, 
yeah, there are many, many points about um, the mindset. I choose two or three, but you can find ten or some uh, things about mindset. I invite you to find your personal uh, key points about uh, a good mindset for a single session. Uh, if you want, we can discuss about yeah. uh, other things. There are so much, really, just, just can remember. Yeah. I do that. Yeah. yeah. Do what? So, what would be the limitations? Because, I mean, there are people that come with a thing that cannot be solved. Huh? Somebody comes to you and says, I feel very lonely because my partner died. Yeah. So, what can you do? Yeah. I mean, um, how you can help people with the limits that cannot be overcome? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not able to resurrect my partner. Exactly. <laughs> I will release really this back. Um, yeah. What is your goal? What is the client's goal? Okay, your partner is dying. If we have just this session, what is the most important thing that you think you need to do to help you, to be helpful for you? Or, as probably, Client says, what is the most important question I have to do to you in this moment to be helpful? And at the end of the session, you ask, okay, is it enough? Do you need more session? Do you need more me? Or no? Knowing that you can always call me in three months, three weeks, three days if you feel that you need another session. Did I answer? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. Because we are focusing basically on the person and how this is going to help you. Yeah. Uh, not on the situation which is... Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yes. I just wanted to share about my, my mindset. Because it seems I have done quite lots of single session therapy without knowing that yeah, I know that I'm doing too much focused therapy. therapy. But my mindset, because I live in a small town, yeah. and people don't see you with a, a good eye if you want to make money out of them, <laughs> and if you are like a little bit uh, too materialistic. Yeah. And uh, I often tell uh, my clients, that uh, if, if, if it is needed, we can see one uh, sometimes more. But if, it does, if they don't need, we can just see yeah. now. And very often we have only one session, yeah. and maybe in one year or two years or several months they call me again, but they have improved. Yeah. So uh, acid therapy is very um, like. Uh, appropriate for, yeah. for single session therapy. Yeah, and um, came to my mind a very important thing um, as we to you and to her. Uh, we don't need to solve the problem for the client. Yeah, we can, but that's not only the thing that the only thing that we can do. We can help the client to solve the problem, or we can help the client to start something or to add something else, and then you will. Uh, Michael Lloyd, there is a, uh, an English interview with Michael Lloyd on YouTube, uh, type Michael Lloyd's in the session for the um, Oh, you probably see the interview here. Um, and uh, and he say actually, the most, um, the most common number of sessions in psychotherapy is zero. People solve their problem without and in service. 60, 90 percent of people that need therapy, uh, that need a therapist and never ever call a therapist. Most of them solve the problem. Even there is a funky that is psychodynamic uh, therapy, funky that in our research recognize that even borderline, you know what? See borderline, borderline person 
and so for us. We say that all the other person solves the, the problem, uh, which is any term. Start to become borderline. Also, like, you know what I mean, you don't know what I'm talking about. Without any term, many other person are saying that many terms. Say that a good research. Say that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. You opened my eyes on what I did. Okay. Um, I teach um, switch focus mediation. And the goal of this course is that people do single session mediation. I didn't know that I should call it like this. Yeah. And there is one thing that is very often difficult for my. Uh, Participants, and that is to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the people uh, who come to me to my virtual do it, it works. But some of them don't do it. Yeah. Do you have a suggestion so that maybe the percentage of people of my virtual race up? Yeah, it's a key word. Um, uh, what I was uh, suggesting? Uh, yeah, you know, some of the some of the participants do it, yeah. and some don't do it. Okay. So it's Yeah, single session mediation. Yeah, yeah, just to change the word. Okay. Um, I teach this and I train this, but some of them they just don't do it. But they have to. If they do not do it. They come back and say, hey, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. And so, do you have an idea? What would you do to, to help you do it? Yeah. Um, do exercise for them because they have to feel that it works. Do exercise, this is my suggestion, do exercise about myself. Like, <coughs> what I find, if you want, you can share with me. Uh, it is fine. Exercise is out to try the to try to find the therapist, okay? To make it those. To feel that in a few minutes, possibly, in one session, like the exercise you do, you, know, um, you can do something different. You can do something as if one session would be. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, then again. Yeah, okay. One more small question. We call it a simple session therapy. Why? We could also be called something like uh, mental health consultation or something that doesn't have the word therapy in it because for most people, when you hear the word therapy, you start to think of some kind of long term 10 session, 20 session, 100 session. Yeah. There is this beautiful thing called Facebook. And people on Facebook, terribly psychologists, Italian psychologists. Oh, no, I can say that. I'm sorry. I don't know about it. Okay, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not talking about a lot of shit, but I don't want to do that. Okay, uh, yeah. In Australia, they call single session therapy single session work. Yeah, because they use that with uh, social workers and nurses and physicians and so on. Um, funny fact, single session therapy is a name um, chosen by the publisher who published the very first single session therapy. And it's smart. It's, it's just smart. Uh, Talon said, eh, it's okay, you're the publisher, if you think that this uh, title works, and it works. Uh, do that. Um, it's marketing, but you know, uh, I don't think it's bad marketing because it helps people to uh, say, single session therapy, a shopping single session, ah, it could be interesting. And uh, clients first learn therapists are interested that, and this is the most important thing to me. But um, you're right, uh, they, try in the, they try in the years to change the name. But single session therapy is powerful. Wow, in a single session, yeah. And it will, it's okay, but develop your name, develop your weight. This is the most important thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't want
Yes. Hi. Uh, yes, I like very much your presentation. And I was thinking about uh, uh, something. If you in advance, in the beginning, say, we have four minutes. I would like to say we have five minutes. Because I have an airplane to catch. I'm pretty sure that Wines will do the best to use this time in, in the most useful way for them. So setting a, a tight framework of time helps them be more creative. It's very much like Zen. If you say you have to express something as a haiku, yeah. in three hours, yeah. You don't need to write a book of 700 pages. Yeah. So people will be much more creative when you set this frame. We have one session and then you cannot see me because I leave Italy for Melbourne for three months. Yeah. <laughs> so please, let's have a conversation yeah. as useful as you can make it for yourself. Uh, someone wants to be, no, but that's here, but that's here, they had a client who arrived very late to the content. We just have 20 minutes. It was the first session. And I really want to see him, but I don't want to uh, bother the next client, you know? Uh, so I say, okay, we just have 20 minutes, let's do something, and then we have the next session. I never see him again. After 20 minutes, I say, wow, this is powerful. I, I think I don't need another session. Really? Oh, yeah, you won't me. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm joking. Um, it's true, it's true, it's true. Um, it, it's it very interesting, and I really do that. Uh, I really did the thing I say in the, at the, end, at the start of this uh, workshop. I say, wow, I have just 50 minutes. What are the most important things I can do in 50 minutes? And yesterday, I showed you a hammer. I was uh, in front of my computer uh, putting away a lot of slides. No, 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 yes, no, 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 yes. And I hope this version uh, was absolutely good. So, people, uh, we don't have uh, an English website, uh, we will have in uh, one month, but if you want to be connected about things that should be in English, uh, we're working for our English workshop, probably in Milan or uh, in uh, Rome. You go to therapiasecutasingola.eu and here, formation is training, and here this is English, so it's easy. You put your email and we will uh, update you. If you want um, uh, free stuff, if you want um, information, I think this is my name. I share everything, just ask and uh, talk about that. Uh, thank you so much.